taking full advantage of it. It is one of the best stories in the nation this year. Louisiana Tech got four second half threes from Keiston Willis against Marshall here on Thursday to help put the game away. Tremendous range for the Trail Louisville and Kentucky. Very impressive. Aaron Conkle, he's impressive. Reigning Conference USA Coach of the Year for good reason. 139 wins already in year seven, fourth in Tech history. And here we go, first half court possession for the Toppers. Well, Tech starts a man to man, which they play 99% of the time. Offensive foul early. That didn't take long. Great job, Kobe Williams stepping in, taking the charge. He had an unbelievable game the other night. Did a great job uh, helping them come through and uh, get a terrific win. On Thursday, career best 22 for Kobe Williams. And the team's leader in assist. Here's Lofton, the touch baseline block. Guess who? Sharp at 7 5. Five blocks a game. Team more than six rejections a game. For the big guy, Jamarion Sharp. Long range three. Louisiana Tech gets going with Archibald. Excellent three point shooter, Dave, about 36%. That's the key. We think we're going to see a lot of zone by Western Kentucky to protect the big guy. Marion Sharp, keep him out of foul trouble. Here is Justice. And there oh. is a long-range shot. He's your guy. You love him, don't you, Dave? Watching him, and uh, he's their lightning rod. Against Louisville, as you know, he was 5-for-5 five five from three-point land in the first half. Scored 18 points and a half and 25 for the game and a big win over the Cardinals. Third stop, Cameron Justice, the former high school player of the year in the state of Kentucky. Vanderbilt, IUPUI. And then back to Western Kentucky for his second stint. He was in sales as he handles the ball here last year. Didn't like it. Worked in West Virginia. So returned to Bowling Green to be a GA in academics with basketball. And then an application to the NCAA. And then the waiver, because he didn't play last year, got an extra COVID year, and now he's starting for Western Kentucky. It's an amazing story. Tremendous story, Dave. Once again, that's great. The NCAA is looking at the whole situation, not being too strict. And here he goes. Bang. Right on cue. Baseline. There you go. Thank you, Cam, for hitting some shots while we tell your story. And thank you, NCAA, for <laughs> letting this guy play so our fans can enjoy it. Clear November 10th. The next game was against Minnesota on November 12th in Asheville, North Carolina. Only one problem. Cam was getting married. All right, well, you got to balance your priorities. Marriage, certainly. So he got married first and played the next day after a four-hour drive from the site of the wedding in Kentucky. It's got, something else. You got a piece of that. I'm counting as another block. Playing well so far. The big guy, a big factor. Luke Frampton transferred from Davidson to McKnight. Is one of the top players in Conference USA this year. Long range miss there from Hamilton. A little Archibald. wind in that part of the arena, Dave. So Maybe a little breezy. Gotta, Maybe a little breezy. Got to shoot through the wind. Lofton Jr. crossover on Sharp at 7-5. I think he sent the message to Kenneth Lofton Jr., Dave. Two block shots already. Big guy's going to keep coming at you, though. Ten to shoot for Archibald. Kobe Williams in the corner. Too strong. Justice can't track it down. Fresh 20 for Tech. West Kentucky goes man to man now after that missed shot. Lofton Jr., not known for the long range. Justice the rebound. Front iron miss there from Christian, the four year captain here at Louisiana Tech. So glad that Xavier is helping on the court again. Loss of handle down low by Hamilton, who's had a tough start here today. Traveling call turns it over. That's a good call. A lot of the referees, Dave, aren't calling walks. A lot of times guys are, you know, moving their feet. So that's a big advantage, certainly, for the offense. you got to call it. That. that was an obvious walk. Good call. We have two different tempos, Dave. La Tech, as you know, they won a game in the 80s and 90s. West Kentucky will run, but they won a game more like in the 60s and 70s. So uh, the speed is a little different because West Kentucky's got the big guy. Big dog, he doesn't want to run up and down a track meet. Seven five, so he wants to pace himself. Sixty-five blocks from Sharp, and he handles here, top of the key, entering the game here today. He's altered shots, he's deflected shots already in our first four minutes of the first half. Tough start continues for Hamilton. Little jump hook. He started his career at Boston College, then went to Maryland, the Big Ten, and now finishing up at Western Kentucky. Yep. 
A lot of threes. Now they're doing West Kentucky a favor there by taking too many threes. Listen, they're wide, wide open. Justice misfires. Archibald trying to track it down along with Hamilton. That's out of bounds. Old toppers will keep it for their head coach, Rick Stansbury. He's had tremendous success as well in Bowling Green, Kentucky. He told his pregame coach he loves this team, likes the depth, likes the chemistry, and it's led by this guy handling the ball right here. A tremendous player. Boom. Not a great shooter, Dave, but he does everything else well. Rebound, steals, assists, primitive shooting, just okay. Surprised West Kentucky's playing a decent amount of man. Now they're going back yeah, to man to man. I'd stay in his own. Play his own. Hands up, Harry. Every time they shoot, yell Harry. That don't work, yell Larry. Or yell Barry. Something will work. Something. <laughs> Ten to shoot here for Lofton Jr. Limited against Marshall Thursday with early foul trouble. Archibald looking for a second long range shot. Can't connect. Each team a little cool here to begin the game. Yep. La Tech shooting 32% from downtown entering the game. That's not their strength. They can get hot, but on the night they were three for 14 from the field. Beat Marshall. McKnight, team second leading scorer. Cam Justice foul. Kobe Williams, a piece of him. So uh, this is an excellent league, and uh, uh, whoever comes out of this league, nobody wants to play them in the big dance. Two teams met in the NIT last year. Louisiana Tech en route to the Final Four of that event. Beat top seed Colorado State in the consolation game. It was a great run for the Bulldogs last year. West Kentucky lost to North Texas in the Conference USA Championship game. Here's Sharp at 7-5, too strong, right low block. He worked on that pregame for that spot for about 10 minutes. Yep. Made all those uncontested. But you got to give it to the big guy. Let the big dog eat. Otherwise, he'll stop playing and take a nap. Willis, a miss at the rim. Each team still chilly here on New Year's Day basketball. Good feed, McKnight down low. Can't finish on a really nice pass, high low. And Kobe Williams off now for Christian. La Tech loves to run. They do best. Push it and get into the paint. Xavier Christian. 2018. Issue with his heart. Collapsed. Handles here on a good oh. feed from Lofton. And misses. Basically missed an entire year. So glad he's on the court and healthy again. That's a great story, Dave. Coming back from serious... Whoa, look at Justice through traffic and the big guys and a tough angle. Banks it in off the glass. He is the only offensive threat in this game for West Kentucky. He's got all seven. He's their guy. You mentioned before, at 18 and a half against Louisville when they beat the Cardinals. 25 for the game. Willis, baseline, can't click. And the rebound for Luke Frampton, the transfer from Davidson, the 8-10. McKnight through traffic. Wow. What a move. What a finish, Davion McKnight. We might need a shot doctor for the three-point shooting of slot tech, Dave. You were pretty good shooting in your prime when you were... My prime? <laughs> well, teams combined are only one for ten from long range, or two for ten. One each. So it's been cold shooting from beyond the arc. Two-three zone now by Winston, Kentucky. They're doing that now to change up, so make slot tech think a little bit. The more they think, the less their feet move. Keaston Willis, not this time. Arch ball, good hustle, fresh 20 here. Offensive glass for Louisiana Tech, but he's out of bounds. Yeah. Once the Kentucky's got to do a much better job rebounding, Dave, it's going to burn them. Davion McKnight, terrific player. I think he's the heart and soul of their team. Nice finish in traffic. Nice left-hand scoop by Davion McKnight. A good chat with him yesterday. He said he's a big LeBron and Russell Westbrook fan. The Lakers teammates got it done last night in the NBA. I mean, LeBron's unbelievable. See all the dunk last night? Uh, no, Extraordinary. I didn't, I didn't see it, Dave. I, I was, you were working, I was sleeping. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't see it, but he's 37 years old, LeBron. He's still, still amazing. Still going. Well, Davion told us last night the win against Louisville was one he'll remember. He's a former state player of the year in Kentucky. Was not recruited by the Cardinals. And to win at home, there's an offensive foul at Diddle Arena for the Hilltoppers was something he'll never forget. Yeah. It's very dangerous when the big power schools in the conference or in the state Kentucky and Louisville plays another school. It's a Super Bowl for those other teams because they want to prove that they can play right uh, in the SEC or the ACC. Jalen butts in for Rick Stansbury. Transfer from DePaul. Pass down low for Hunter, who played really well the other night against Marshall with Lofton out with the foul issues. Driving the basket and a foul call. It's Archibald. 
119 career starts for Amari. He's had a great run here, and Rustin will shoot some free throws. Nice penetrate. The big guy's not there, so go to the cup. Foul. Two free throws now for Archibald. The only points of the day for Louisiana Tech would come from Amari Archibald. Coach, that was a long time ago. Three-pointer. One of the first possessions of our first 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 That's been it. 69 starts in a row for Archibald. And he's got one more free throw here. Third most in program history. 12 points against Marshall. And 10 times this year he's got 10 plus points. So without Lofton being a factor who's out of the game right now for Eric Conkle, someone's got to step up here. Exactly. Fifth year for Archibald, Dave. So uh, a veteran, terrific player. Nearing 200 career threes, has 189 triples after bearing one here today. Couple free throws, maybe that's what gets Louisiana Tech going here. Now a 1 2 2 zone press by La Tech. They're doing that now to have the defense, Dave, get their offense going, get some deflections or a, a quick shot by the Hilltoppers. But they just came back, take their time. They want medium tempo. We said before, La Tech wants to play the game like a hurricane, up and down, quick, fast. Frampton open, Frampton rattles in a three. Luke Frampton from Polka, West Virginia. You know the nickname of the high school, don't you? Polka? Polka Hunters? No. No, the Polka Dots. Polka. Sorry, I was up in that day. got to be the Polka Dots, of course. Butts commits the foul, gets aggressive with Green in the paint. Already three fouls on Butts. Wow. Not getting a lot of playing time. Been tough. He's been out the last two games with COVID protocols. And the Paul transfer frustrated and right to the bench next to Rick Stansbury. Davion McKnight goes out now. <clears throat> he won't be out for long, Dave. Cup of coffee, no time for the cream. He'll be back in. The freshman with Damian Bradford is out now for Eric Conkle. Transfer Texas A&M. Here's Kobe Williams. A three rattles out. And the lid is still in the basket here for Louisiana Tech. A great job. It's very early. La Tech is streaky. The other night against Marshall, they were 3 for 14 from downtown. The first half, cold as ice. The second half, they got on fire. So we'll see. But what they have to do, Dave, for La Tech is get the ball to the foul line. Get it to the high post because then you can throw it to either side or underneath. They're not doing that yet. Get it to a skilled guy in the foul line. Josh Anderson, more than 11 points a game. Not but a factor early here. That could change. Brashear in the corner hits a deep three. Sophomore JC transfer, Panola College in Texas. Here's Archibald trying to get going here. Wow, that is not close to the basket. And the icy cold shooting continues here for Tech. I'm stunned, Dave. Right at the home court. Terrific team, just... Few of them aren't even close. Sharp back in the game. Seven five. Here's a double team. Uh, Kick out Anderson. Not a good pass. Tough to catch, and yeah. taken back by David Green. The Hofstra oh. transfer. The ball might have gotten away with a walk. Floats through the paint. Doesn't get the roll. Oh my goodness. Louisiana Tech is one for fifteen from the field. Pete. Yeah. It's hard to believe at home. But credit the defense by Western Kentucky, Dave. Doing a nice job contesting shots in the paint, which uh, La Tech is tremendous scoring in the paint. They sh shoot 57%, right? Uh, you know, Ken Palm, one of the best in the country in shooting two-point shots in the lane. But right now, so far, struggling. Dream start. West Kentucky on the road here. Keiston Willis with 10 to shoot now. Here's Lofton Jr. back in the game. Scoreless so far. 0 for 2 for the field. There's his first bucket. Get him going. That's key. Big shot. For the big fella. Third in Conference USA in scoring. First in rebounding, almost 10 a game. Answering play here today. Frampton almost double dribbled. Yeah. Justice, third stop. Reverse layup oh. for two. This is a guy who scored almost 3,000 points in high school. He knows how to fill it up, Pete. Euro step, Mano Ginobili from Argentina would be proud of him. That was nice. Baseline reverse layup there for Cam Justice. Lofton Jr., 275 pounds of power. Had it blocked by Sharp with some contact, and he will shoot some free throws here. 
Cameron Jester's a shooter. You got to play him tight. Use the ribbons to protect the Euro step. Nice English, nice soft licorice rims. Count it for the Hilltoppers. I love soft rims, Dave. So you always test the rims during the shoot around. I test them. Yeah, I was pre-game. I, I see you out there. I had some illnesses when I was coaching. I used to bring a <laughs> weighted ball and hit the rims on the road, to soften them up a little bit. Didn't work. Lobster here, one more. We had a great chat with Kenneth yesterday. He talked about how his team, he likes the chemistry, likes the way things are shaping up heading into Conference USA play. And we asked him, how about staying out of foul trouble? Because he had the over-the-back call early, two and a half minutes in, and the technical. So he had two early fouls against Marshall here Thursday. said, I just got to be more careful. Exactly. Got to be smart. Yep. Because you know the team's going to go right at him, Pete, every single time. Every time. You're right. <clears throat> you mentioned Dave, third leading scorer in Conference USA, 17 a game for Lofton Jr. So uh, he's a key. He's the catalyst. He's starting to get rolling now, Dave. Four straight points, Lofton Jr. Who's going to get back in the game. Hamilton's been oh. quiet. Quiet no longer. Jamarion Sharp elevates and hammers at 7-5. He shot down at the shot. He's shooting 77% from the field, Dave. So uh, you can see why. Last nine games on fire. Here's Stewart thinking three ball. Cans it. Caleb Stewart, freshman out of Texas. Much needed triple for Louisiana Tech. Got an official timeout here. Really well in this first half. The basket repair is complete. We're back underway. We're in Conference USA action. Happy New Year, one and all. Hope you're having a safe and happy New Year's Day. Here's Sharp the lob, but a foul. Trying to grab that rock up high. Tavarion Sharp. How would you defend someone, Coach 7 5? It's difficult. You always have to have a body on him, Dave. You know, he's not that strong with the lower body yet. <clears throat> we'll be in time, but you got to put your body on him. Because if you don't, if you throw it up, he's like an elevator. It goes way up and throws it down. They do a nice job finding him. Coach Stansbury told us pregame he's about 230 pounds right now. Would like to get him up to 250, 260 eventually. Tough to keep weight on. I mean, he's got that thin frame at 7'5. Tallest player ever in Western Kentucky history. And there's Anderson for two. Very talented player, Dave. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fifth year senior. 2 3 zone. I like the zone right now for Western Kentucky until they get hot against it and change. Christian steps back for three. Whoa, that's not even close. Long rebound, didn't hit the rim. Another shot at it. And a miss there for Stewart, who did his first triple try. Cam Justice. Works back for Anderson. On the half court here for Western. Hamilton trying to get going here. Tripped up in the paint. Exactly, Dave. For them to win, it's a long, long game. He's got to get going. Leading score right now for the Hilltoppers. Penetration, little trip. 16 a game, transfer from Maryland. Started his career at Boston College. And met of the Terps. And his last stop, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And you're right, big factor, almost 16 points a game. McKnight driving through traffic. A lefty floater can't hit it. And gets two physical on the rebound try with Lofton. McKnight looks like a defensive back, Dave. You know, he's a strong physical play. A nice penetration. In traffic, tough shot. Lefty going to his right. That's a very tough shot. It goes in there. Perfect rebound, but poor decision finally. Crash the offensive blast. The two guys. It's a big call there, Pete. Two fouls on Davion McKnight, the sophomore. Team leader. Another reason for the zone. Try to protect your players a little bit. Protect the big guy sharp, and they need Davion McKnight. He plays almost 35 minutes a game, Dave. Christian for Willis, deep three. Another back iron miss, and McKnight has the long rebound. Defensive glass here for Western. Justice had that great start. Seven early points, all seven scored by the Hilltoppers today. Hamilton, the spin. The fake. Hangs can't hit. Traveling first is the call on Jarius Hamilton. Appropriate if Lofton Jr. won that award as a member of Louisiana Tech, named for the legend Carl Malone. Exactly. You know, he's a tremendous player. 
I think the top player in Conference USA, David, this stage, but once again, credit the defense by Western Kentucky. Slowing them down right now, but it's early. 1-3-1, half-court zone trap by Western Kentucky. A little change of pace. Blocking foul. Lofton Jr. trying to make it happen and avoid foul trouble. That plagued him on Thursday against Marshall. Hilltoppers, 17 fouls now in our first half here today. Lofton Jr. right back to the free throw line. Reigning Conference USA Freshman of the Year. All league pick preseason, of course. One stage, PD had four straight double doubles. And 10 plus points, rebounds in six of seven games. This is a guy who can take over a game at any time. No question about it. He's got great hands, a tremendous passer, excellent basketball IQ, a special, special player for the Bulldogs. One or two that trip, free throw line for Kenneth Lofton Jr. from Port Arthur, Texas. Conference USA freshman of the week last year, nine of 14 weeks, dominant. And his freshman year. And still, of course, freshman eligibility. I go inside to Hamilton. Get him the ball. Fresh hit overplay. Turnover. And try to get it to Hamilton, Pete. Right on cue. Kobe Williams drives. Kicks. Archie ball. Thinking three ball. Wow. Another bad miss. And the struggles continue for Louisiana Tech for the field. Hamilton lost the rock. Regains loose change. And hits his first field goal. West Kentucky has to take advantage if they want to win this game on the road. Big, big conference. It's a statement game. These are two of the top teams, in my opinion, Dave, in Conference USA, along with UAB, North Texas, the defending champs, excellent. But this is a statement game. One of these teams, or UAB, I think, would go to the big dance. Lofton Jr. over the 7-5, sharp. But he can't click from long range again. I'll let Lofton Jr. take that shot any time. Not known for his range. Justice is... Heel the rim, miss. Anderson long rebound, fresh 20 here for Western. Hamilton again trying to get going. Short. Hamilton one for five from the field. Does have four rebounds. Here's Lofton. The take on Sharp at 7-5, who definitely affects the shot, and then picks up the foul. First foul on Jamarion Sharp, coach, at 7-5, the junior center. Goes in, pump fake, he stays on the ground. I don't know, it was close, Dave. Coach Dansbury didn't like that. It looked like he was smelling some bad cheese. Gold medal winner, U19 team. Overseas in Latvia over the summer. We got a lot of attention nationally for that. We talked to Kenneth about that. Pete yesterday said the experience was great, not just winning the gold medal and getting that feel for representing your country, but seeing so many different styles of basketball overseas. Exactly. Playing against some big guys from all over. They beat France, as you know, in the championship game, and he was a leading scorer for USA. Junior. He's got seven points to lead Tech today. McKnight through traffic. Really tough shot. Some contact and a foul call. Great matchup between Kobe Williams for La Tech and Davion McKnight. Western Kentucky today. Two outstanding guards. Two of the top point guards in Conference USA. Rick Stansbury telling us yesterday, Davion McKnight is the battery that runs this team. And he provides their energy. One of the best defenders he has been around in a long time. And that says a lot. We've had a lot of success, of course, at Mississippi State. With great run there, many NCAA tournament appearances. And said to us yesterday, McKnight never takes a drill off, especially defensively in practice. And those are the guys you can count on in March, right? No question. Dave, he has six assists a game and six rebounds a game. For a guy 6-1, uh, too many turnovers, four a game, to full disclosure. But uh, outstanding plays, only a sophomore. You asked him about all those rebounds yesterday. Yeah. What did he say? Great positioning? Yeah, he's tough. He's Watching lots of tape. Gritty. Turnover again. Justice on the move. Here comes Western. A great yes. pass. Sharp oh. up, up, and away for the slam. But first, an offensive foul called on Cameron Justice. Transition. West Kentucky will pick their spots. Justice, unselfish. Way to step in. 
Excellent player, Kobe Williams. He's got a big heart, Dave. He was great the other day, as you know, against Marshall. Boom. Big dog. He can run. Sharp can run. Big play. And the foul on Justice and take away the two points. Kobe Williams. He's got to get going now. He's been silent today. 0 for 3 from the field so far. No points. Lofton Jr. stripped by Sharp. Regains, but can't hit. Look at Justice Hustle yep. for the defensive rebound. Dave, there should be a stat in changing shots or affecting shots. That time he didn't block it, but he changed it. He affected it. Sharp. Hamilton just off his game today. Yep. One of four scoring a double figures for West Kentucky entering this New Year's Day matchup. Yep. Lofton Jr., wow, a wild shot. Drastically affected by Sharp at 7-5. And no chance there for Lofton Jr., one of the best players in the league. And a deep shot, Anderson is way short. Hamilton, the hustle, it's out of bounds. And it's been a rough one here for each team. Yep. This name, uh, Dave, this game will not go to the Louvre. The film of this game, <laughs> Paris, this is not I would the, say Save for the archives. Not. Louisville deny this game. But, hey, whoever wins, it's like a Mona Lisa. It's great. Just get a W. Right That's all that matters in the end. Exactly. A win's a win. But I think a lot of Texans get going soon. The weakness of the zone is a high post. Get the ball to number three right there. Get him the basketball. Archibald the free throw line. Get, That's it. Now attack. Well, coach, coach. Kobe Williams through traffic. This time lays it up and in. First buck of the day. For the team's leader in assists coming off that big game against Marshall Thursday with 22. Knight got the two fouls. Butts, we saw early three fouls for Western. A factor in the foul department. Sharp at 7-5. Always a target. Anderson rattles in a deep three. You like him, Dave, right? He's talented. Preseason. First team selection. Conference USA. About ten guys, but they, they like him. Veteran guy also. Western Kentucky. What do you have to do, coach, in college basketball? Get old, stay old. There's yep. another example with Anderson. Blocked! Look at Sharp up high. That's why it leads the nation in rejections. Just ask Kenny Hunter, the latest victim. Tremendous shot block and shot save. you got to push your transition. All right, you got to press, get some deflection, some steals. All right, and get going. Now they're going small. Taking out Junior Lofton for a little bit. Got to be aggressive. Kobe Williams, attack, attack. Here's Williams, but Sharp bothers the shot and the drive of the basket again and causes a turnover. Pete, I'm with you. There should be a stat involved in altering possessions. I agree. That affects the game. It's important. It doesn't go down the box score, but once again, that's a, a big factor. The big guy affected the game. Made LaTeX turn it over. Frampton the handle here. Rick Stansbury may have undersold what a factor Sharp has been in our chat with him yesterday. He's definitely made his presence felt here today. There's the pick and roll. Sharp at 7-5 open for the moment. Frampton baseline with five to shoot. Wild shot, not close. Try to regain and then lost it out of bounds. LaTeX offense, Dave, as you mentioned, has not been good at all. Really poor, but their defense has been very good. Only 28 points so far for Western Kentucky. All right, so Lofton Jr. is back in, Pete. Yep. One of six from the field. Five of his seven points have come from the free throw line. Not the factor Eric Conklin had hoped he'd be. Get the ball to the foul line to Archibald. Number three, get him the basketball. All right, now look inside. Long range shot for Williams, who's fouled and won. Chance for a four-point play for Kobe Williams. Ill-advised foul, Cameron Justice. go inside back outside Kobe Williams the guy he's got to be the answer Dave the answer the other day as you mentioned against Marsh it was great he's got to do it again right now with La Tech struggling in his first half but it's a long long way to go it's going to go right down to the wire throughout his career at Louisiana Tech 13 and 2 when he scores 10 plus points in a game can't complete the four-point play. Here's a big factor, too, Pete, in this game so far. Sharp not in foul trouble. He's been on the court most of this first half and has been such a presence defensively. Yep, tremendous. I mean, look at the post-up. 
Yep. How do you move that body at 7-5? Yep. Eight to shoot. Let Hamilton touch it. Let your best player touch it. Anderson floats. Can't get a roll. Wow. Lit on the basket for each team. Archibald drives. Sharp wow. says no with another block. Right wow. to the rim. Jamarion Sharp, another rejection. The timing, Pete, is exquisite. Amazing. Kept it in bounds. There you go. Just as Coach Gillen said. Bill Russell did that many, many years ago, Dave, with the Celtics. He blocked it, but he kept it in bounds, and the Celtics were off and running. This young man, as you mentioned before, both of us, is getting it better and better. He's only started 10 games. His 10th games he started in his Division I career. Now forget about it. 65 blocks entering play today to lead the nation. He's got three officially today, although he's altered several shots and changed possessions several times in this first half. It's only an eight-point game. That's the good news if you're Eric Conkle because your team's been outplayed badly in the first half. Long-range miss. Frampton, front iron from three. It could be a lot worse. No question. should be a lot worse. Only 5 for 28 from the field for Louisiana Tech. 3 of 16 from 3. At times at home, dating back to 1998. But looking good here, certainly early in the first half for the Hilltoppers. Coming up on at and at the half, Adam Zucker, Wally Zerbiak, Seth Davis standing by. Get you caught up on all the news and highlights. All coming up on at and at the half on New Year's Day edition. Lofton Jr., the touch. Sharp, the block. Foul first. Looks like it's Hamilton. That time they got the ball to the high post, and Sharp came out on the high post. Get it to the high post, get 2 3 zone. Sharp, the big guy, comes way out. They lob it inside to Lofton, and a foul. Good adjustment by Coach Conkle. High low and bring the big guy out. Jerry's Hamilton, Pete. Two fouls. That'll be a factor for West Kentucky. Largest lead has only been 11. <clears throat> Well, that was early in the first half at 28-17. So the fact that it's still in range for Lofton Jr. and the Bulldogs is great news. Exactly. Now turn up the pressure. The point guard's out of the game. Cameron Justice is a two-guard. It's a combo, but pressure him now. Kobe Williams is the nightmare. Play against. 17 plus minutes in the first half. Western Kentucky's had a lead on the road. Touch Hamilton. Kick out. Long range shot for Josh Anderson in the corner. Yeah, he's a microwave when he gets going. He's off the bench. West Kentucky's not real deep as we mentioned before, Dave, but Anderson really a big plus. Here we go, inside again. I wouldn't bring him out. I'd keep him inside, let him shoot the three. Archibald, bothered by Sharp again. It's been a factor in this first half. David Green, the handle, five to shoot. Archibald travels. Great defense by Western Kentucky. Give him a lot of credit, Dave, playing Dave, but even a better person. Everybody who we touched, everybody loved him. A gentleman, class, wonderful guy, big loss. I'd run a high ball screen now for Sharp. McKnight, lob it up to the moon. Get to the moon, Sharp, and throw it down. Here's McKnight. Final moments, first half. Sharp's Lead out of the gains game. and a foul call. Yep. Took Sharp out of the game, so that plays tough to do when he's sitting on the bench. Sixteen fouls, so no free throws here. Two fouls, Kobe Williams, first half. He takes a seat next to Eric Conkle for the remaining 5.2 ticks of the opening 20 here. And look who's back in. Sharp. <clears throat> Places Josh Anderson. So the option for a lob is here yep. available for Western. Frampton to the inbounds. Final moments. Here's Hamilton from 15. Rattles out. Out of a miss. Lofton in the rebound. And that is the first half. Not memorable for Louisiana Tech. Bottom line, though, coach, they're still in the game. Long way to go. Any game. I think La Tech's going to come out strong and play real well. And we're going right down to the wire. Eight points for Lofton, first tap. Just one for six, though, Pete, from the field. 
Well, uh, maybe the best player in Conference USA. So let's see if Eric Conkle and his staff can flip the script in half number two. Archibald on the bounce. Lofton Jr. The take over Sharp for two. Nice job. Nice finish. Only his second field goal of the afternoon. And a really good half-court set out of the break for Louisiana Tech. Big possession now for the Hilltoppers. Justice elbow bothered William Steele. Feeds for Archibald. Lays it in. Here we go. Now your hat on. Here they come. Climbing up the hill. The Hilltopper. Hilltoppers. That's the great start. Eric Conkle and Louisiana Tech wanted to begin the second half. Here's McKnight. He'll drive over Lofton Jr. Can't convert. They score. I'm calling a timeout if I'm Coach Stansberry. Williams kicks out. One more pass. Long range shot. Christian can't convert. And Sharp up so high to 7 5. Front of the rebound. You get Hamilton the ball. You get your leading scorer in the basketball. If you're the Hilltoppers. Justice, deep corner Whoa. three. Splash. Nice skip pass. But he does well. Herman Justice. Third stop, Vandy, IUPUI, and then Western Kentucky with a year off in between <laughs> to become a salesman for plumbing manufacturer and tools. Wow. Said he didn't like that job very much, but he likes being back on the court for Western Kentucky. Yeah. Foul call, and here's Lofton Jr. shooting. Back in him in. He's holding it, trying to back him inside. Not much of a foul in my eyes, Dave. I mean, protecting Frampton a little bit. Correction, uh, protecting uh, Lofton a little bit. One more free throw here for Junior. If you make it, I think they can come out with their pressure, whether it's a zone press or man to man. I think it'll be a 1 2 2 zone press if he makes this one. Big fan of James Harden. And Eric Conkle told us yesterday no one loves the game more than Kenneth Lofton Jr. McKnight floats, runs into trouble, regains the rock, and then hits. Good effort, Davion McKnight. He's got a big heart, Dave. The young man really has got courage, and we talked to Coach Stansberry, you and I, yesterday, right? He was really effusive with his praise of Davion McKnight. Anytime your head coach calls you the heart and soul of the team, that means a lot. Yep. Lofton Jr. right at Sharp, trying to get the big man in foul trouble. Nice peg for two. And Lofton Jr. off to a great start in the second half. He's got 13 points. He and Justice, two players in this game in double figures. McKnight, step back three. Whoa. Sharp the screen. All the room Davion McKnight needs to bury a triple. Yep. Turnover. Our tech stepped out of bounds. And McKnight is not a, a great three-point shooter, Dave, as you know. So it's a great sign for the Hilltoppers on that one. He was inside. He backs him under the rim. Uses his body as a weapon. Pump fake. Uses the rim as a protector. Great move by Frampton. Keystone Willis picks up a foul. He's battling there in the inbounds play. Coach Stansby didn't like the call. Contact staying in man to man. Play almost the whole game. Hamilton, quiet first half. Maybe he makes some noise in the second. McKnight feeling Whoa. it. Heat check. Hits from the top of the key. Contested lefty jumper from 17. He might have heard me talking, Dave, that he's not a great three-point shooter or perimeter shooter. Take that. He, he probably did here. I mean, we're courtside, Pete. <laughs> it's possible. Lofton Jr. on sharp. The big man. There's the bump and the foul. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Two fouls for the big man. Jamari on short. Coach Sandsbury's going crazy on the bench.
Lofton Jr. The extra pass for Williams, who was the inbound passer there, returns to the baseline and hits. We found some answers now. Back and down sharp underneath the rim. <clears throat> That's how you stay away from the 7-5 defender. McKnight is feeling it in the second half. Davion McKnight is on fire. Only player in the nation averaging 13 points, six rebounds, six assists, two steals a game. That is filling up the stat sheet, Pete. Yep. Sharp two fouls. Lofton Jr. knows that. But Sharp just too tough to get around. Yep. Has a rebound. Frampton steps into three. Top of the key is bumps. And one foul on Christian. And a chance when we return for a four-point play for Luke Frampton. Frampton and Davidson. Sophomore year, played 34 games. He was injured one year. Playing for Bob McKillop in North Carolina as well. That was a starter. 10.3 points a game at Davidson, the 8-10. Yep. So a good talent for Western Kentucky. Completes the four-point play. He's got seven points today. 10-point lead at the half for Western Kentucky. All right now they're up 17. Wow. So the first five minutes we mentioned is key. West Kentucky won that battle by seven points. Willis trying to get going after the great game. Thursday against Marshall. There it is. His first field goal of the game here. Remember, he hit four big threes early second half Thursday against the Thundering Herd. Exactly. 0 for 5, Dave, as you mentioned, from downtown. He's a key guy, the best three-point shooter for La Tech. McKnight, the take, oh. reverse layup for two. That was special with the left. Dave, it's his world right now. Woo. We're passing through it. Oh. McKnight is on fire. What a move. He's taking over this game, Pete. Yep. Williams, baseline. Ooh. Sharp says no. Christian, the extra pass. Willis, back-to-back jacks. Oh, here we go. From three for Keystone Willis. Much needed for the Bulldogs. Exactly. <clears throat> Better play him. He can make three or four more. He's not even hitting the rim. McKnight, 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, six boards again for the 6 oh, one guard. Impressive. Bump. There's a bump and a foul call. Yeah. That's some battle. Kobe Williams. Davion McKnight drives penetration to baseline, use the rim as a protector. Nice finish with the left hand. Here we go. Willis, best three-point shooter for La Tech. Knocked in too early in the second half. Inbounds play. Justice lost the handle, but Sharp takes it back with 15 to shoot. He has good hands for the really big Really good fella. hands. I mean, a lot of guys, you've coached seven footers, Pete, your great coaching career, our projects. He is pretty advanced. Frampton up this time. A lot of contact. Lofton Jr. gets physical and commits the foul, and that's what he's got to avoid, Pete. Yep. Those reactions to foul calls. That's how he got the tech Thursday against Marshall. Exactly. Same thing. Can't show up the officials. You can't be emotional. It's a foul. It's a good call. He's going for the ball, but he got entangled. You can't do that. You don't want to make a referee look bad. Don't embarrass him. Tech's last home loss. January 22nd, so basically a full year ago against Marshall by seven. It's been a while. 16-game home win streak on the line here today. Foul called Western Kentucky. And a push off there on Hamilton is had a really tough day yeah. pushing off to get position. He's got to step up. He's got to step up second half for the Hilltoppers. 2.5. Rebounds in the game for Jarius Hamilton, team's leading score. One of seven from the field so far. Man to man now for West Kentucky because Willis has been knocking down threes. Keaston Willis tries for a third straight. Three. Sharp over Lofton Jr. and the fans here in Rustin. Furious. There was no call on the big man. McKnight, another jumper, not this time. Right at that best in transition. Stewart for Archibald, and that great start to the game here today. There's the lefty. Still a freshman eligibility-wise. Kick out. Long-range shot. Much needed Louisiana Tech. And Archibald. 
Second three, Amari Archibald gets the crowd going. That makes it a 10-point game. I go inside to Hamilton. Got to get him going. Go to Hilltop. Ramped in for Justice. Tennis shoot. Carries it. Turns it over. And it's right back to Louisiana 10. They double team inside against Lofton Jr. Kicks it out. Archibald splash. 36% from downtown. So Willis and Archibald, the two best three point shooters. So Lofton's a great passer. So get him the ball. They double him. They find the open guy. Still man to man now for Western Kentucky. A good run for Louisiana Tech trying to get back in the game. But first, you got to get it under double figures. Right then, you work on that lead. A little more. Lofton Jr. the back in on Sharp with the two fouls. The pump fake. Oh, Can't got away with one. Right. He got away with one, Dave. But there was a foul. Anderson floats the other way, but can't finish. Oh. Rebound for Amari Archibald. This is what Lock Tech wants. They want to track me. Offensive foul. It'll be under control. First foul in the game for Amari Archibald. And had 12 points against Marshall here on Thursday night. Averages 10 a game in his career. He's exactly in 10 points here today. Lofton Jr. has been pretty good. 13 points, 5 rebounds. Anderson floats. Really tough shot. Over Lofton Jr. It's not close. Having a nightmare game, Dave. But still, they're having a nice lead. Christian wants to change that. The four-time team captain, like Willis, shut out in the first half. He's got his first points of the game. It's down to seven. Timeout, Western Kentucky. Today, first half, La Tech shot three for 16 for 19% from three. Early in the second half, four for six, 67%. It's a whole different story, second half offensively for La Tech. Anderson, Hamilton still silent in this game for Western Kentucky, but still they enjoy a seven-point lead. Trying to end a scoring drought on this half-court possession. Forest shoot for Justice. Needs the big man sharp. Headed blocked. Shot clock violation. Well, Damian Bradford and Junior Lofton, the double team. Name for the ages in Louisiana. The script has been flipped here. Seven-point game at one point, a 17-point lead for Western Kentucky, but they're in a long drought. Swing the ball, look to drive. Dribble penetration against his own. That's a double him. That's a great pass, so you better play him tight. Double team, Brampton Sharp on Lofton Jr. Here's the kick out. Long-range shot. I missed this time. Short. Stewart. Trouble down low. Western Kentucky disorganized and a chance for a three-point play for Junior and company. Great hustle by both big men. Lofton gets it, throws it inside. Nice finish by Archibald. What a play by Lofton Junior. Seated and feeds to teammate Amari Archibald. Chance for a three-point play. He's a winner. All of a sudden, a five-point game here. Four minutes, 14 seconds, scoring drought for Western Kentucky. And Pete, you said in the break a moment ago, if this trend continues, Louisiana Tech could win this game convincingly. Let's see if they can make the comeback complete. Report pressure now by La Tech. David McKnight now has got to show his leadership. Tremendous point guard, only a sophomore, Dave. He's got to get some help. Nobody's showing up in the second half for Western Kentucky. No toppers, 0 for the last five for the field. Who gets going here for Western? That's the question. Wow. Justice is the answer. Yeah. He's the guy. Him and McKnight got a score. Other guys are not great scorers. Three threes. Cameron Justice in the game here today. Well, the high post. Weakness at his own. Ooh. Bradford for Williams under 10 to shoot. Not this time for Archibald. 
Weston wants a medium tempo, Dave. They don't want to track me. They don't have the quickness and athleticism of La Tech. Even though they go good athletes, they're not as quick or as deep as La Tech. 25th three of the year, last possession. Justice thinking about number 26. On wow. two, splash from deep. Cameron Justice, four triples today. And we know he can heat up from beyond the arc. He's streaky, as we mentioned before. Five for five in the first half in a victory over Louisville. Him and McKnight got to be the answers for the Hilltoppers. Kobe try to drive, penetrate versus his own. Swing it quickly and drive the ball at the gaps. Kobe Williams, wow. take a three, hits a three. I love him. He's a winner, Dave. He's a tough cookie. Kobe Williams. Named after the late legend Kobe Bryant. Wears the same number. And loved him as a player, of course. Growing up, watching Kobe and the Lakers win all those titles. Knight, Tobias man. Cubby Williams off the ball, battling with Cam Justice, commits a foul. First player in the game, coach, four fouls. That's Kobe Williams, picks up his fourth personal one. Going to have to take a seat next to Eric Conklin. That's a giant loss for La Tech at this time. He'll be back in in a few minutes, but that hurts because he was playing well, just nailed a three. <clears throat> Great game Thursday, as we mentioned before, against Marshall. McKnight had that hot streak to begin the half. Cold since. And Archibald commits the foul, battling with justice for position. <laughs> 17 fouls, Louisiana Tech, second half. So we have some free throws coming wow. up here. Wow. Here's Eric Conkle, really upset. Look at him, still giving the referee some heat. He's counseling him very aggressively, Dave. You counsel me aggressively when I mess up. It's one of your classic lines. Counseling aggressively. I was waiting for that. So well, it's been a while since I've seen it. Know, so yeah, I know. Got to get all the Gillenisms out. We got to get new material. Oh. Front end miss. <laughs> Free throw from Cameron Justice. That's a surprise. Yep. Justice. Team I, 18 points on this one. Sharp, careful with the two fouls. Baseline. And it stays here with Tech with 18 to shoot. Frampton out, and Jarius Hamilton returns. Team's leading scorer has been quiet today. And Stansbury trying to get him ignited here. Latter stages of the second half. Willis got to keep looking for a shot. Terrific three-point shooter for La Tech. Keiston Willis, two big early threes beginning the second half. Got it going for Louisiana Tech. Sharp another block. That's four in the game. For the nation's leading shot blocker. Long range shot, the miss. And offensive rebound. Lofton the battle. And a foul call. Three fouls on David McKnight. And his mom watches Junior Lofton. never easy for the parents, right, Pete? Oh, no. They're in pain. They live and die with every play, every game. Junior's a little gimpy here. A little slow to get up after the contact a moment ago. Yep. Well, Damian Bradford is out. Streaky game. Yep. Willis got to get going now. For the Hilltoppers. Very good score. Tremendous three-point shooter. He's their weapon from beyond the arc. No doubt about it. Seven-point game. Now high post. Lofton Jr. Watched by Sharp at 7-5. Takes it against the big man. The pump fake. The end one. <laughs> Kenneth Lofton. Mom approved. Spectacular. Chance for a three-point play. There we go. Being doubled. Spin pump fake. Chuck Daly, the great coach of uh, Dream Team number one, 1992, would love that. Pump fake. Get sharp off balance a little bit. Nice finish by the big fella. 15.7 rebounds here for Lofton. Three fouls on the 7 5. Jamarion Sharp. And Ooh. wow. <laughs> Almost rolled out 
kept rolling around and drops at Mom White's a three-point play. And here comes the crowd. Here comes the crowd. It's back to four points. Play good defense now. No foul. They're into one on one. Justice up top. Wow. Gets on three. Five threes in the game for Cameron Justice. Got to play him. Stand in the zone. Send it to the big guy. Let the big dog eat. Lofton Jr. on oh. sharp. Rifles that pass. Wasn't tipped to the question. No. So that went into the band. Caleb Stewart thought it was. Deflected. Louisiana Tech in this arena. 53 and 3. A 946 win percentage. We mentioned it's been about a year since they've lost here at home. 16 in a row. The home win streak. Let's see if Western Kentucky can finish them off. Dave Ryan, Pete Gillen, the coach with you. From attack in Ruston, happy new year, one and all. Hope 2022 is all you hope for. Here's Hamilton. Can he finally hit a shot? Yes. He, he came back. can. Jarius Hamilton's second field goal of the game for the leading scorer for Western. At two points at the half. He might have hurt us. The big dog not eating, but that big dog had a little nibble. Lofton Jr. responds for the free throw line. Dave, if I'm Western Kentucky, I'm swinging the ball and I'm driving it. Get to the free throw line. And that's McKnight attacking the basket or Hamilton. Here's McKnight from the elbow. Ooh. Rattles it in. He's playing with the poise of a veteran. He's only a sophomore. Shelby Bill, Kentucky. He told us yesterday, not recruited by Louisville. Awfully sweet to beat the Cardinals in their home court in Bowling Green. And the heart and soul of this team. Traveling call, turned over by Jarius Hamilton. Coach Stansbury loves McKnight. Yep. I can see why. He's a money player, does it all, as you mentioned before, Dave, every part of the game. He fills up the box score. Assists, rebounds, scoring, toughness. He calls him the engine that runs our team. Great team leader as well. Kobe Williams back in the game now. Here he is, the Willis rain man. In the corner, Keiston Willis for three, a deep triple. He's got three threes, second half after being blanked in the opening 20 for Eric Conkle's team. Back to a six-point game. Two possessions now, thanks to Keiston Willis. McKnight trying to respond with Anderson. Baseline floats, offensive foul. Is that man, Kobe Williams, stepping in. Please. Swing to the corner. Keiston Willis from downtown, the top three point shooter for Latex Splash. Great shooter. First half, 0 for 5. Stepping in, Kobe Williams at the heart of a lion. Two possession game. Right down to the wire, Dave. Transfer from Incarnate Word. It was all Southland Conference there. Really good three point shooter in Keiston Willis. Only a sophomore, pretty to talk about. But some of the younger players going to have to step up. Lofton Jr., thanks to the COVID year, is still officially a freshman. Nice pass down on the extra feed for Archibald. Who floats? Can't hit over Sharp. Long rebound. Who's got it? Archibald does. Willis. Not this time for three. Ooh. Looks like Latex getting a lot of loose balls, Dave. Balls on the ground. Out quicken the Hilltoppers to the ball. Play good D now, La Tech. I'm Western Kentucky. I'm driving the basketball, Dave, unless you're wide open. Justice. Contested shot. Front iron miss. McKnight almost tipped it. And had an offensive rebound. Stick back try. Double dribble wow. call against Kobe Williams. And he is shot. Aaron Conkle is apoplectic. Going nuts. He didn't like that one. He's calm. He's like Sunday morning. But now he's going nuts. Really upset. I don't know what he was upset about, Dave. <clears throat> it's awful. He didn't like it. Be careful. You don't want to get a technical in this stage of the game. I think referees are doing a good job. Last miss from Western after making five straight. McKnight trying to get hot oh. again. Does. Davion McKnight, 4-3. He's got two triples in the game.
topper run of the championship game, lost to the Mean Green of North Texas. Well, the coach said to us yesterday, McKnight's temperature never changes. That means that he's incredibly consistent, especially in practice. Exactly. Great battle between he and Kobe Williams, 24, with the ball. Both tremendous players. Sharp at 7-5. The challenge on Lofton Jr. Here comes the double team. Ooh, ooh, Good the feed. Work down low. And a miss there for Christian. And a foul call against Western Kentucky. Sharp has three fouls. This one, though, goes against Jarius Hamilton. Four fouls on the topper's leading scorer. And Lofton Jr. to the free throw line. Misses the front wow. end. And Anderson, a big defensive rebound for West Kentucky. He is challenged oh, and then man. tied up. Possession does go to Western Kentucky. Thought he got fouled, Dave. Thought he got fouled in there. Rick Stansbury did. Uh, from my angle, looked like he got hit. He got a box out. Hamilton did. Nice rebound. Anderson grabbing his arm. Two guys. Big front end miss for Lofton. A one and one free throw shooting for Louisiana Tech. Good D now by the Hilltop. No foul. Play good D. Get a rebound. Hunter Tan on the timer for Anderson. Steps back for three. Oh. Hits a big triple. Josh Anderson's third three ball of the game today. He's fearless, that young man. And with that, he busted the double figures as well. Impressive road game so far. Up by a dozen with the ball off the steal. Just a lot of poise. That was a good decision. Clock is your best friend right now. You're the Hilltoppers. No reason to rush, right? Exactly. Take advantage of the 30 and the half-court possession. Exactly. Tech played good D without fouling. Ten to shoot. Justice. Hands to McKnight with five on the timer. The lefty spins through traffic. Hangs. Can't hit this time. Tip not there. Rebound loose for Justice. Attacks the rim. Doesn't get the roll somehow. And McKnight almost had another rebound. Kobe an Williams to Chet. Kobe Williams. Lofton Jr. goes up. Had it oh. stripped and no foul called. It was Anderson who got a piece of it. I thought it was a foul there, Dave. But if we had a better angle than us. What are you going? Keaston Willis is steal. Here's Amari Archibald. There's a lay in. Count it. Went up here for Amari Archibald. So the ball was tipped, the lay in that we saw a moment ago by Archibald. And then the technical called on Rick Stansbury, as we expected after the basket counted. So Archibald, here a pin drop here at the tack, yep. has one more free throw. Yep. He said it was a goal 10 that he tipped it yep. at the end on uh, the explanation, Dave, as you heard. <clears throat> Point of interruption, West Kentucky gets the ball after this free throw. Amari Archibald, perfect from the free throw line today. Continues that trend. Knocks that down. 17 points, seven rebounds in the game for Amari Archibald. 18 for Lofton, eight rebounds. So the Stars have been shining brightly for Louisiana Tech, especially in the second half. Man traps. McKnight's got to step up. He's got to come to the ball. Davion McKnight, the point guard. Frampton, Justice, good press break across the timeline for Western. A good D now, La Tech got plenty of time. Shot decisions now, very important. Half court execution is key for Western Kentucky. McKnight, five to shoot from 15. Short, Ooh. doesn't get the roll somehow on the visiting rims here in Ruston. Lofton Jr. the handle, sharp the three fouls, the pump fake, the bucket. Lofton Jr. Well done. Great footwork by Lofton. He's got 20. Justice 21 to lead all scorers. McKnight's got 20. And this one's heating up here in Ruston, Louisiana. Zone press. 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Back to man-to-man. -to -man. Tech. Big possession here. With two to go in regulation. Yep. And Western finished this game on the road. Closing out 
Road victories, tough in conference tough. play. McKnight drives, the lefty layup doesn't go. Ninth rebound, Lofton Jr. Here's Keiston Willis for two. They do best. They love to run. Born to run. Bruce Spinkstein would love this. He was born to love run. Love the boss. Love the boss, Pete. He would love to watch La Tech play. So plenty of time. Four-point lead. I get the ball to Davion McKnight. Set a ball screen sharp, the big fella, and make a decision. Get the ball to your best ball handler. Five to shoot. Anderson from the elbow. Back iron miss, sharp. Offensive glass, fresh 20 here for Western Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him out. taking a shot. I don't want Hamble to shoot the ball. Not his best night. Get the ball to Davion. He's got to come back and get it. Uh, you don't want to foul. Jamari Archibald picks it up. Three fouls on Archibald for Eric Conkle with a minute even to go here in our second half. The foul trouble story. Four for Hamilton and four for Cam Justice. Hamilton, not a great free throw shooter, Dave. 65%. Justice coach, that's incorrect. He's got three. Here's Anderson, big free throw. Cans it. Fifth year senior guard. Here in the state of Louisiana from Baton Rouge. Those high school team in three straight state titles. All conference series today, defensive team member. Side, they get it the ball to Lofton Jr., right? And attack the basket, they double kick it out, try to get a three from your top three point shooters, Willis or Archibald. But you don't have a lot of time now. And once again, Kobe Williams had the dribble penetration ability, do that. Williams drives and scores in the baseline. Uncontested there against Justin. He can run now after a basket. You can move. Come to meet it. Now McKnight, come get it. Anderson. He's a little shaky with the ball. He's on the bounce. There's the pressure. There's the bump and a foul. Yep. You okay with that foul? Is it too early? No, I think it's a good foul. Once again, see how he makes, if he can make these free throws. If he makes two, you can go down and make a three. So, not too early. You don't want to wait to the end. I, I, I like that. <clears throat> but if I'm the Hilltoppers, Dave, I want David McKnight to come to the ball at all costs. He's your money guy. He's your point guard. <laughs> Anderson back to the free throw line. Front end. Gets Ooh. a roll. Big made free throw there for Josh Anderson. He's got 98 career dunks. Let's kind of hope we can get to the 100 slam mark in the career of Josh Anderson today. But believe me, no dunks, that's okay if they get a road win here in Ruston. Tough place to play. Yep. Hits the second. Fifth year senior. Big game for him this afternoon. <clears throat> you protect the paint. Help him. Williams step back. Over free. He's unbelievable. Free. What a shot for Kobe Williams. Kobe Williams is unbelievable. On Louisiana Tech timeout. What a player. What, what a player. Possession game, Pete. Last Two baskets, Kobe Williams dribbling the ball. You know, Frampton might lose it. All right, if they get it back to uh, Anderson, who takes it out. So come get it. Davion McKnight, get the basketball. Turnover, Willis steals, floats, but can't hit. Stick back, not there. From Christian, it's out of bounds to Louisiana Tech with 37.2 to go here in the second half. Wow. Getting the ball in bounds, Dave, as you know, is a key in any game. They couldn't get it in. You have to screen. They didn't screen. Great defense by La Tech. One possession game. Kobe Williams feeds. Willis oh, can't out. hit a big three. It almost went down, and Sharp is fouled. Three wow. throws on the other end. That went in and out. It's okay. Lofton's congratulating them. Only shoots 47% from the line. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so it's not a bad foul. For the Hilltoppers, for uh, La Tech, rather. He struggles at the line, so. Ten fouls, Louisiana Tech, two free throws here for Demario the nation's tallest player from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, misses the first. 
Critical second free throw coming up here for the big guy. And J.C. transfer from John A. Logan College. He had an incredible two-year run there. 261 blocks in two seasons. Misses two. And we've got an official timeout. Number zero, give him the green light. He's the best three-point shooter. Also, Archibald number three. I let them shoot it, but got plenty of time. Kobe Williams can penetrate. He's quick as heck. Speaking of which, Williams, baseline, trying to get free. Tech, oh, 10 of 29 kick. from three. That ball's kicked. So 20 on the shot clock, 21.5 on the game clock. Dave, now if I'm West Kentucky, if it gets down to 12 seconds, I'm going to give a foul. I'm not going to let them shoot it. I wouldn't do it now, but if they pull it out, slow it up, give a foul, all right, because the percentage of, of them making a shot now is about one out of five, making a three. Percentage of them uh, getting fouled, make a three throw. All right, miss. Williams for three. He's got it. Kobe Williams drains the big triple. All tied. A foul called to the backcourt. Didn't have to do that. Tie score. What is he doing? Why was 21 points, 5 of 7 from 3. 82% free throw shooter. Only attempt today, a miss. Two free throws, cans the first. I don't like when they get off the line. You're shaking hands, kissing babies, you know. Just stay in the line. You've made the shot, now you got to recalibrate. Misses the second. No Louisiana fouls. Tech going for a win here. Pass for Lofton. The pump fake. Can't lay it in, but a foul call. With 5.4 seconds to go. The big guy, Jamari Sharp, does commit the foul against Lofton Jr. 4 fouls, Pete on short. Yep, yep. penetrate Archer, nice pass to Frampton. Pump fake, gets him in the air. Ooh, ball hangs in the rim, rolls over. All right. Lofton Jr., 8 of 12 from the free throw line here today. 65% shooter on the year heading in. Trying to give his team a lead. Hits the first to tie the game. No timeouts, either team either remain. Team. If we get it now, I'm getting the ball to McKnight, whether he makes it or not, and just go to the rim. Dave Young, McKnight, go to the basket. Get a screen to get him the basketball. 21 points, 11 rebounds, Lofton Jr. Yet another double-double. Mom is hopeful for a second free throw to put his team ahead. Yep. From Western Kentucky, I'd have... All right. Anderson, take the ball out, number four. Get the ball screen for David McKnight. Put your head down, go to the rim. Eric Conkle told us yesterday, this is a guy who loves the game of basketball and loves being in big moments like this. Second free throw. He hits it! Junior, two free throws. Okay. Mom loves it. Bulldogs by one point. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, Kobe Williams against McKnight. Tell him to sit down the bench. <laughs> no timeouts left. Here we go. You can't foul now. It's two free throws. Get the ball. Go to the rim, McKnight. Go to the rim. Here's go to the McKnight. rim. Final moments. Launches for three. Back iron missed. That's it. Louisiana Tech wins its 17th straight home.